Okay. Here's the stoves that I'm thinking about. First and foremost, I've always wanted a Yodel 602. Thousand dollars for a new one. I did find a used one about two and a half hours away from me, built in the 90s. He wants 700 for it. Thinking, look, I can drive an hour and buy a new one for a thousand or two and a half hours and buy one built in the 90s. Not much, and I don't, I don't think so. Um, now, being in the 90s, it might not have all this second burn EPA crap on it. It could be a plus. I don't know. Mike could give for 600 I don't know. Uh, that, that's always been really the one I really, really, really wanted. A thousand bucks for a new stove. But it's cast iron. The next one I looked at was the more so squirrel stove. I think it's a 1410. Cast iron, made in overseas again, I think Norway or Sweden, someplace like that. Very hard to find in the U.S., at least that's been my experience. A lot of websites say they have them, to call them, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, if you don't have your prices on the website, I'm not calling you, okay? That means you probably don't have it in stock, or your prices are too high. That's the way I read into it. So I could probably get one shipped over here. Hey, I'm telling you, the last one I seen last year for sale, new one, and I cannot find that place again, was like twelve hundred bucks. Um, this it's a multi fuel coal or wood, and it says it's thirty thousand BTU. The yodel. If I remember right, it's 28,000 BTU, and it's only for wood. It takes wood up to 16 inches. The Morso Squirrel Stove takes wood up to 12 inches. Most of my wood out here is cut between 14 and 16. So I'd have to recut wood, which ain't a problem. I just, I'd set up my miter saw and um, go from there. I don't want to do it because I've got about four ricks of wood right now. Um, that I'd have to do that way. Don't really want to do that, but I would. I like, the more I look at the squirrel stove, the more I like it. Bigger glass, um, some nice vent controls on the front. I'm not sure, I think the, the Yodel 602 has some sliding vent controls at the bottom. I'm not sure how well that would control the heat. So anyway, Smelling that hickory and that oak coming off the, the grill over there. I've closed it down to let it go in and make charcoal. So anyway, so those are two, and both of them is very expensive. But remember, I only have less than 250 square feet. I'm afraid the Yodel 602 will run me out of here. It says good from 400 to 900, depending on which website you read. So, but I don't understand that the squirrel stove is rated at 30,000 BTU unless they're counting, excuse us, unless they're counting using the coal. Unless they're getting that number by using coal, which burns hotter than wood. So, um, not, maybe they are. But 12 inch wood. I can't see being more BTUs than a stove that uses 16 inch wood. My other options I'm looking at are the sheet metal, not sheet metal, the cold road steel ones. Northwoods Fabrication has one called the Woodsman. That's made out of 8 inch cold road steel. Basically it's a steel box welded up with a little 4x8 glass window. Um, I know what some of you, oh, oh, those are not rated for residential. Totally get it. You're right, they're not. But they're not $1,000 stoves. You know why they're not $1,000 stoves? Because they don't have all the EPA crap in there. That's the only residential um, 
rating that matters right there and that's why they're not rated for residential because they, they're classified as tent stoves but so don't get off on the high horse on that it has nothing to do with safety and all, any other, other crap that y'all try to push off so anyway squirrel we're back um that stove's about 425 and it takes up to 15 inches of wood. My concern with these type of stoves is um, I don't know how long the burn time is. I don't want to be up every, not, not every two to three hours building a fire. Okay, That's why I haven't even considered the Cubic Mini or the Cubic Grizzly or whatever. Because everybody I see says they get two to three hour burn times. And I'm not sure that would heat this as small as they are. 8 inch wood, I don't think that would heat this when it got really cold like it did last year. So, the other stoves I'm looking at are, these two are the same as cylinder stoves. They are the um, Caribou stove by U.S. Stoves and the Alpine by Camp Shaft or cylinder stoves. I'm sure they would do well heating this. There again, I'm just not sure about the burn time. Um, the other stoves I'm looking at, uh, um, New, the New Englander or Englander Cubs, not the Cubs stove, the Black Bear. Now, these stoves are also made out of cold rolled steel. Uh, they're about a hundred and seventy-five bucks. The, the cylinder stoves are around around two hundred. The, the it's Englander or New England? I think it's Englander Stove Works, something like that. They make several, and they're camp stoves, not rated for residential, but you use them. You know, how many hundreds of thousands of stoves do we have in our homes and cabins in Alaska and Canada and all that that's not residential? Anyway. That's just something grinds my gears when some, I see some reviews and someone these stoves are not meant for residential use. Get alive. Um, so anyway, um, I like that. The thing I like about the the uh, Englanders they they have a lot of cool accessories. One, you can get longer legs, you can get side shelves, and you can get a hot water. Uh, a uh, tank that goes on the side of them. Those would be really cool. Get out of here. Get out of here, girl. See, I don't want to kill them, but then they make themselves a pest. Go back to the hive. Um, so anyway, that's the stoves I'm looking at. Sorry she gets in the way. He's probably looking for hummingbird food I spilled earlier. So, um, that's the stoves I'm looking at. And the the cast the I mean the cold road steel stove get out of here. Um, they take about fifteen to sixteen inch wood, which means I wouldn't have to recut a lot of them. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Leave me thoughts down below. Um, which which stove? Now I'm, I'm I'm thinking if I do go the cold road steel ones. And maybe, you know, because I'm, I'm really now leaning from the Yodel to the Squirrel Stove. But I probably have to have it shipped over here. And I need one within the next two months. So maybe I go with the one of the Cold Road Steel ones. Um, because they would have the 6 inch flu. They'd have everything. And I just have to swap out stoves next year. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Leave the comments down below. And... I thank you for helping out, and we'll catch you on the next video. I think my wood over here is just about ready for the steak. Yeah, fried eggs are part of dinner as well.